Yes, it is time for another episode of the T-Virus Podcast. In the world, there are a lot of problems. Humans cause all kinds of problems, but one of the biggest problems are drunk drivers. Humans get in the car. They're like, yep, today is a good day to break all the rules of the road. <laughs> and then they drive drunk and then they kill somebody's grandmother. What do you think about that, Jermaine? Yeah, drunk driving, that shit is stupid. You should already know. If you can't walk, then how the hell are you going to get in the car and then start it up? And then you're going to put on the gas pedal like, shh, they always be driving fast. 90 miles per hour. Wait, 90 miles per hour? Yep. No, that's fast as fuck, like, because... I think, like, a lot of cars, don't they get up to, like, 140 miles? Like, I, I'm not too sure, but I yeah. know they get up high as fuck, right? So yeah, 90 definitely. miles per hour is, like, isn't that way above what you should be doing? Yeah, that's over the speed limit. That was what that football player did, Henry Ruggs. Wait, what, what happened? Yeah, it was a football player. He was um, one of the top players for the Raiders. He was fast, and then he got in the car. He was drunk. He drove over 140 miles per hour. What the fuck? He ended up killing that um, female that was inside the car because she couldn't get out and then she burnt to death. So they both died or was it? No, only, only she died. So he, what happened? He got out the car before it hit the wall or something? No. <laughs> like, like, how did he survive? Like, He was fortunate. They always survive for some reason and shit. They do the most damage and they survive. Yeah, that, I noticed that. Whether it be in real life or in movies, like the drunk driver... Is always fine, but then the passenger, somebody else in another car, a bus driver, everybody else is dead, or they'll be fucked up for the rest of their life and shit. You know, they could barely walk, don't remember their own name. It'd just be a lot of horrible shit because that human decided to drive drunk. You know, I've, I've heard too many stories about humans being dumb. Like, I remember being at some parties and stuff. Like, I, I don't really like parties like that. But, but, you know, I've been to a couple parties and stuff. Of course, humans drinking wild and out. Like, hey, you want another glass, man? I'd be like, nah, get that shit away from me. You got some water, some apple cider. Come on, man, you need to drink, man. It's part of the party. You got to lighten up and shit. And I'm like, nah, nah. I'm, I'm, you, you, can, you can lighten up and, and go somewhere else before I put my foot up your ass. They're like, hey, man, you calm down, man. You can't be being a buzz kill. Yeah, yeah, clean. They be cleaning the glasses and stuff. I'm like, yep, okay. cheers and shooting you. Yep. Right, and then and then some of them like, all right, all right, man. I see see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The later, they be like, wait, what the fuck? Like, no, you know when they just you could tell when they drunk and stuff. Yep. Then they like, all right, man, all right, man. Then they like trip and fall. They be like, I'm about to drive home, man. We gonna meet up tomorrow. You know no. what I'm saying? Like, no, no. man. Hell no. You gotta grab the keys fast and shit. Yeah, they they not going to, like, meet up nowhere. They're they going to meet up in the grave because they're going to be dead as fuck. But, yeah, like, nah, like, that's that's not how it is. I mean, have you ever seen, like, humans where they be like, yeah, all right, man, then they get in the car and they drive and stuff? Or just... Yeah, yeah. There was some people in high school I used to hang out with. He was like, yeah, I'm going to get in the car after they got done drinking, taking several shots. He was like, yeah, I'm still able to drive. I can still see clearly. There's, like, three cars, but, nah, fuck that. And then he started to swerve. I was like, nah, hell no. Nah. Let me out, motherfucker. Oh. Wait, wait, you were in a car with him? Yeah. So, so, so. Because nobody else could drive. That's what it was like. Nah, he was the only one. Oh. But he said he only had a few drinks, but you can tell his eyes was getting red fast. What the fuck? So and then you got out and then he died after that or what happened? No, <laughs> <laughs> no he made it to the home, to the house, which oh, is good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you yeah. never considered yourself like, um, like trying out the beer or the vodka's. To see how it is. Nah, de de definitely not. Yeah, if I had um a sip, but that's not the same thing. It's involuntary. I thought it was like a Coca-Cola can when I was at a party. <laughs> then it turned out to be like Tecate or some shit. Like, oh, yeah. Tecate some, some type light. Of, yeah, some type. Wait, what? Tecate light. Yeah, yeah. Something, something like light, heavy. I don't know. It was, it was something like that. But I, I just knew it was something wrong. And then, But that was an accident. But outside of that, though, I never like. You know, woke up on a Tuesday like, hey, about to drink me some beer. Like, no, no, negative. Yeah. The, the sip that I had, that tastes like vomit and ass mixed together. That shit was terrible. <laughs> but yeah, like, nah, I don't really be fucking with the alcohol like that. Yeah, how about you? Yeah, yeah. The beer, mainly. Not no damn vodka. Cause, nah, shit. It'll mess up your liver way faster. That's why. Yeah. Only at parties, but not the parties recently because you're just going to get shot up. Fuck that. Um... So the the vodka it don't it don't be tasting good. Yeah, it does. It tastes better at at the parties. 
Wait, so it only tastes better at the party, but away from the party, it tastes bad? Yeah. Because it's not the same, not so why, because you got to taste it, but then at the party, you be like, doom, doom, doom. You be taking shots fast, and you don't feel the after effect until you play beer pong or vodka pong. No. I, I'm trying to figure out how that shit makes sense, but what I do know is that, um, you know, you just have, like, some old lady crossing the street, and then some guy driving drunk, like, oh. Is that, is that a red light or is it green? And then, like, no, all of a sudden she just get hit. And then he, you know, try to swerve, hit her. And then he hit, <laughs> hit somebody else, hit a whole family with kids and shit. And then everybody dead and stuff. And then he talking about he didn't mean to. It was an accident. Nah, fuck that. You definitely meant to. You knew what you were doing. Yeah, there are women, too, like, that be driving drunk. Yeah, not just yeah. guys, like, hell yeah. you had a women, like, all right, Amber, I'll see you later. <laughs> um, I'm going to go and suck Johnny's dick. And then, like, no, the scene transition is she thinks she's driving to get some dick, but she's drunk. And then the scene transition, she just end up crashing, breaking her own fucking neck and killing, like, 40 people. You know, that's just. What the fuck? I'm just that saying. Means... <laughs> what, what happened? That means that she Drive drunk into a crowd of people then. What the f- Hey, humans be wild now when they're drunk. Like, it don't yeah. be making no sense. They be thinking like they're going, you know, 30 miles an hour or something, something reasonable, right? Yeah, 30, yeah. 30, 30 miles per hour, whatever, whatever. And then, you know, the scene transition, they're really going 60 miles per hour, right? No, like, fuck like they're on the freeway, but they're supposed to be, you know, the lower speed limit because they like, you know, in a section with, with school kids and stuff like that and they just going crazy. It's like, yeah, slow down. They're like, hey, hey. They're like, nope. And then they're like, what? And then they're not looking, and that's when they kill somebody. Because they're already, like, not really paying attention. They see an ambulance going by. Right? You know the alarm. You yeah. know you know the, the the siren and shit, right? Like, yeah. And then they be like, oh, is that part of the music? I'm like, nope. Drunk a lot. They don't even know. <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah, some, sometimes. Don't drink and drive. That commercial was dope, though. Yeah. Wait, how is the commercial dope? It's killing people. Like, they don't listen. It's like, because they put it in a commercial, they're doing the exact opposite. <laughs> so you should probably make a commercial where they say drive drunk, and then maybe they, they won't do it. Because humans do the opposite. But you probably shouldn't do that either, because humans are dumb as funny. But, hey, man, you know, we saw it on the commercial. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, no, that should be terrible. Do you think they should get um life in prison if they automatically kill somebody, or they hurt somebody, or they're just brain dead? Nah, that's that's not good enough. It's like if they if, if a human drives drunk, and then they kill someone, you then you should just pull them aside, talk to them, and shoot them in the face. <laughs> so that way, it's a lesson to everybody else. If you drive drunk, you take somebody's life. We gonna take your life. You know that that's what they should start doing anytime somebody commit a crazy ass crime like that. You should just be shot in your face, and then you know. You'll have less individuals doing it. It ain't going to never get rid of it, but, no. you know, you're going to have the humans looking at their little soda, uh, <laughs> not soda can, but the little beer can and shit, right? A little, little alcohol, little glass container, like, damn, man, I don't, I don't know if I should drink and, and drive and shit. I ain't trying to get shot in my face. And it's like, yeah, that's a good choice. <laughs> good choice right there. You ain't trying to get shot in the face. You know, the blood splattering and shit, the, the family going to be sad. Like, you, you ain't trying to do that, right? No. But some, but some of them do, though. Like, I was thinking about that, like how some humans, they put, like, alcoholic beverages in, like, soda cans and yeah. juice containers to make it seem like <laughs> it's something else, but really yeah. they just down on some alcohol. Yeah. Like, I had yeah. some friends doing that shit. Yeah, that's why I was thinking about that. What? Yeah, to trick the cops or to trick um, humans. They're, right, right. That way they won't know. Like, oh, okay, you know, I'm drinking. You get a ticket. That's why it's a $120 ticket. If you get caught drinking twenty dollars. Yeah, if you get caught drinking in public. No, oh, that's a lot, yeah. You might as well just get shot in the face at that point. But like <laughs> Wait, what <laughs> But my my thing is like I'm just saying like, cause I've had some friends where um, you know, they'd be like, Yep, yeah, I'm just enjoying the soda, man, and it'd be all kinds of alcohol in there and you throw away the can <laughs> and you smell it. Like, nope, this ain't no cherry coke, nigga. Like, what the fuck did you put in here though? Oh, hey man, it's you know, it's a new brand and shit. I'm like, no, it's the same brand we've been getting for the last three years. Like, what, what the fuck you mean? Like, yeah, it's definitely um <laughs> the same brand, yo. You'll know when it's a new alcohol or beer. Wait, you know when it what? You'll know when it's new beer or vodka or alcohol. They're like, oh yeah, alcohol is coming out or the Grey Goose, like with P Diddy. Yo. Wait, what did P Diddy do? He did the Grey Goose. I don't know what the fuck that is, like. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it famous? Yeah, yo. 
Grey Goose Vodka. Him and Conor McGregor is at the top of oh, this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Conor McGregor. He be having this stuff, yeah. But you got to buy it, though, because if you don't, they'll knock you out. Like, if he sees you, <laughs> if he sees you, like, oh, I'm going to buy something else. He's just going to roundhouse you and kick you through the window or something. Like, no. Put you on the ground and then beat the fuck out of you and then force you to buy it anyway. <laughs> so you might as well buy his drinks because, you know, he could be dangerous. But the point is, is that, um, you know, in life, you got to make sure that you make good decisions. Like, if you're going to drink, you're supposed to be responsible, right? Yeah. That's why only adults should drink. But then again, adults are the ones that's killing everybody, right? Like, yeah, hell yeah. They be mad at the kids, but then it'd be the adults out there driving and killing everybody in sight because they, they drunk and they can't think properly. And then you get all these tragic stories and stuff on the news. And yeah. these families crying and shit, talking about Tommy was about to go to college and, <laughs> you know, little Johnny and, and Amy and Betty Sue were just going to be these great, uh, you know, astronauts and shit. And then all of a sudden, they just got killed by a drunk driver. No. That shit's bad a lot. Or, or you had Timothy. He was about to get married. Then he got killed by a truck driver and stuff because he was drinking and driving. And then, I don't know, he just thought life wasn't precious anymore. And he just killed somebody for no reason yet. No. What the fuck? You got to you gotta sleep it off. Stay at home. You know, eat like a bag of chips. You know what I'm saying? A slice of bread and rethink your whole life. Def Before you take somebody else's life, right? You know that's definitely what you have to do when you're drunk. You gotta um, eat a lot and stuff. Like, yeah. Like, what like, kind of foods do you have to eat? Like you feel bread, like you said, and chips, like stuff like that, where it can absorb the, the alcohol better. Yeah, or you can just drink a lot of water to now to get rid of it faster. Yeah, the only thing that I know for sure that can sober somebody up is if you knock them out, like <laughs> you, you like you, you know you punch them in the jaw and you break their jaw. And then they what pass the out. And then by the time they regain consciousness, they're no longer drunk. They're just thinking about how much your jaw hurts you. Yeah? <laughs> or, do, or do you feel like that's not really a good method? What the? I mean, if you have to do that to prevent somebody else from dying, then yeah, it's understandable. Because well, yeah, you won't get assault. Right. I mean, what what's better, a broken jaw or humans dead as fuck? No, hell no. Broken jaw. Yeah. I you, mean, you know, that is a little bit extreme. You might, like, maybe, you know... Some you know something more uh, reasonable and less savage, right? You could just talk to them, and then if they're like, "Nah, I'm good. I could drive. No, hell I'm, no. I'm fine." Then you just bash them over the head with a skillet. Then like you, you know, you gotta stop them. Yeah. You and then know? those there's this mean drunks too. Remember when they want always want to fight and shit? They just be mad. We want to fight everybody. I'm like, hey, hey, fuck you, <laughs> hey, like, you, like, no, what the hell? Yeah. They're like, yep, yep, yeah, I'm the best around here. Because, yeah, fuck all of y'all. All y'all niggas is whack. Like, you like, wait, what happened? No. Yep, then they, like, slam the door, <laughs> and then they get in the car, just like, yep. Shit, I'm fucking Dominic Toretto in this bitch. And then they just start driving fast, and they just kill everybody. I'm like, what Fast and the Furious movie did Dominic Toretto just kill a bunch of innocent people? Cause no, hell no. no. It, 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 and he always wore a seatbelt. That's true. That, yeah, that's That's right. Yep, I didn't even think about that. Dominic Toretto always wears a seatbelt, like no matter what he's doing, even when he's going off a cliff, he like I gotta put on my seatbelt. Like Dominic Toretto is the truth. You know what I'm saying? So, but humans in real life, they be fucking up. Man. Hell yeah, what the fuck? Every every time I look up, a human is being dumb as fuck, and and a lot of it is surrounded by alcohol, emotions, drugs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just a bunch of the same old shit. Ain't nobody surprised. You know, just a different day, the same sad ass story. <laughs> like, oh, I didn't mean to. No, I you... wanted to apologize no. to the family. But like, look, I'll show you how you can fix this. You get to die next. You just did, did, boom, bang, bang, and uh, I know murder, murder is bad and stuff. But I'm just saying, like, cause you ain't gonna bring nobody back by saying you sorry. But maybe no, if you join them in a the grave, you know, then you can start like, you know, on the path of peace and stuff. Like that shit don't make no sense. And then all oh, cause the. I ran, I killed somebody, then now I'm, I sobered up. I don't drink anymore. Well, no. oh, oh, it's convenient that you don't drink anymore after you took a fucking life. <laughs> like, no, if you just, like, start yelling at them and grab them by the neck and shit. Yep. But, yeah, so have you, have you ever, like, um been driving drunk, Jermaine? Or? No, I don't even know how to drive. And I wouldn't do it either. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I ain't never Because I can't, shit. you can't even see. Like, what the fuck? No, hell no. Nah. Like, you, you think you're going to see properly, but then you start seeing blue people and then... <laughs> All of a sudden, you're seeing rainbows everywhere, and then you're trying to get to it to, to get to the leprechaun that's going to give you some <laughs> lucky charms. You just kill somebody's mom. Like, nope, that no. shit's bad. Nope. Terrence out.